Why hello there, Star Soldier the First back here again, and welcome to my humble abode. Yes, I do like to apologize for last week for my crass behavior. Ah, uh, it was uncharacteristic of me to lash out. As you all well know, I'm a man of class and taste. And the Star Soldier First simply must have the finest artwork. Thank you again, Jason's Faces and little colors. Yes, and I even have various championships and hats. Here is one given to me by Walter Day and the fine people over at Twin Galaxies for my achievement in getting the high score in Magical Chase and several other Turbo 16 games. And for this grand Turbo Tuesdays, I figured why not Instead of playing the stock market, we look at top 10 of the most expensive for the TurboGrafx 16 connoisseur. Ah, like a fine wine, these games have aged to perfection. I gotta help my broskies out, yo. Let's see what they are. <laughs> and the first one I have here is Bomb 3. Now, what makes this one so collectible is that it was the final TurboGrafx 16. North American card game. <laughs> Bomb 3, I'd say this one would go under a mere hundred dollars. Uh, pocket change, but they might get more expensive as I go on. But I figure I'll mention them anyways. Just play your stock rights and you can afford them too. Of course, we gotta move on to the CDs because not a lot of people own the glorious Turbo Dual system. Be sure to pick up Beyond Shadow Game. The second generation of Amazing Trilogy where you play as a prince who learns of his father's death. In the point and click genre. Be sure to try yours today. I've seen this one go for about 150 to 200. That is like an ivory bed scratcher at least. I'd rather have a much more fulfilling game with beautiful artwork than some mere bone ivory. Come on. I scoff at that. Scoff. Scoff. Might of Magic the Third. And now a certain role playing game for your Turbo Duel. And here we have another vintage card game, Soldier Blade. <laughs> you know I love this one because of its name and its huge lineage. But because the game is so well made and so well balanced, it becomes high demand for TurboGrafx-16 collectors who are looking for a fire shoot em up. You can easily find this game for under $100 just by the card itself, but if you want to go for the gusto and see if you can find everything that goes with it for $200. I wish you luck in your search. That would be just like in a hole in one on your page favorite country club in front of all your friends. Here we have Sid Mead's Terraforman. Be sure to look out for the duel insignia right here. It will make a fine trophy in your display case. This game I see range from anywhere from $150 to $250, depending on what shape it's in. And of course, sell for nothing less than mint. Oh, factory sealed, of course. <laughs> I'm a bot. I'm feeling a slight bit peckish, so I like to enjoy a nice Rockstar energy drink. Ah, most refreshing. Be sure to get yours today. Uh, so now we're up to the top five. Super Arizona. The grandiest sequel to the legendary TurboGrafx 16 card game is now on Super CD. I see this go on the market for about $200 to $300 now. Again, quite collectible. And the next one we have here is Dungeon Explorer 2, another big sequel few people know about. Originally this was just going to stay in Japan, but NEC of America decided to get brave and release this North America side to many adore and applause because this is a fun role playing action game and five players as well. 
light super airsoft, I see this go for anywhere from $200 to $300 when it is even on the market. Sadly, a lot of these games are so rare and vintage, you barely see them on the market. So, the strike when the time is right. And what do we have here? We have the Super CD version of a fun collector's edition bomb free CD, of course, with all new verses and CD music added to the vintage cartridge experience. Now I see this one go for about $300 to $400 now, with a price that could easily escalate. So be sure to find yours when you can. But what is the rare Super CD game you ask? Why it's none other than Dynastic Hero. A fine creative action adventure game made by the fine people over at West One Studios, where are makers of the infamous Wonder Boy and Dragon Curse series. <laughs> and we get to fine addition to that library here on the Turbo Duel with one of the final Super CD games ever released. Now what would you pay for this fine item? <laughs> for me, I would pay thousands since it's a great game. But for others who want to play it safe, I would invest anywhere from $400 to $600 for this. <laughs> yes, it is getting kind of high. You might have to dip into the trust fund a little to buy this one, but it's a fine investment. Uh, so what is the rarest TurboGrafx-16 game ever released? There's so many people on the different forums and various internets talking about this game, and why not? It is a fine underrated title that many collectors seek to have on display. It is of course Magical Chase, one of the final chip games released for TurboGrafx-16. No, this isn't a Super CD game, but actually a chip. Here is a closer look at this vintage item. Now let me pose with Magical Chase and my championship. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yes. <laughs> yes, thank you. Yes. <laughs> You're looking great today. Now this game is going particularly expensive right now so you might have to sell the yacht or the Corvette to pay for it, but believe me, find the game by itself is just a mere $500. Sadly find the complete edition could actually range up to the 4 digit numbers into the thousands or two thousands. Again nothing that we can't afford like Lord Noji Taught the Second or MNL 12 Bird the Third, Magical Chase is a fine addition to any TurboGrafx 16 collection, and be sure to find yours today. It might be difficult to track down on the interwebs, but many are selling at an easy buy now price for a thousand. Five Star Soldier only collect the fine things in life, like vintage video games with the red ear, and I even have some autograph. By Lord Spoonie. Yes. Yeah, I see this game even going more vintage as of late. Oh, so that has been another Star Sword of the first video. And I do thank you for watching. Do be so kind as to subscribe to my country club today, where you get more of various TurboGrafx 16 videos and enjoy my TurboGrafx 16 Turbo Tuesday Super Show. And remember, when you play the stock market, don't just make it rain. That is so 2009. No. Be sure to make it tidal wave. <laughs> now, this is Star Soldier first. Over and out.